Greetings again. I am doing another YouTube contest entry. This one is sponsored by a channel called Grown Man Record Night, run by a couple of guys who are from my neck of the woods, North Carolina. So we're planning on doing a little something, something soon where we're going to get together in our beautiful state of North Kakalaka and we're going to go record shopping or something or maybe do a stream together. But yes, that is the plan. And in honor of North Carolina, I wore this beautiful anti-scene shirt. Friends of mine from North Kakalaka who I grew up uh, around when I was a teenager and they changed my life. So anyway, this contest is a celebration of 600 subs uh, to the Grown Man Record Night channel and uh, the contest is called Under the Covers and it's basically he wants us to show three to five records from our collection that we bought solely based on the cover art. So I have five to show and let's get to it. Now the first one is this, Public Image Limited. Uh, it's uh, live in Tokyo. Now when I discovered this record it was when I first heard of a genre called punk rock. And so I went to my local record store because I was quite intrigued. And I looked at uh, the records just based on cover art and band names, I bought a few. Now this one was one of them. And the only reason I bought it, uh, this is kind of a long story, but my last name is Pilmer, P-I-L-M-E-R. My nickname in high school and junior high school was Pill. P-I-L. I had a character that I played on a radio station back in the 80s when I was a, a young teenager. Uh, the character was called Planet Pill. And it's a long story. I'll tell it one day on this YouTube channel. But anyway, I bought this just because this guy had a shirt that said Pill on it. And I was like, well, I got to get that. I don't know what that is. Of course, later on, soon after I bought the record, I realized that this is John Lydon, Johnny Rotten from Sex Pistols. So I was an instant public image fan at that point. Again, that was in the early 80s when I discovered that. Next up, this cover, I think I found this at a thrift store or a flea market. This cover grabbed me. It's by Bobby Bryant. And the song is called Pressure, subtitled, Stay the Hell Away From Pressure. Stay the hell away from pressure. What a command that is. Now look at this cover. He is weighing some things here. We've got some money. We got some drugs. We got everything. Look, look at that. What a what a display. And he's concerned about you. He's concerned. Now back cover's pretty good too. And as you can see, there's pressure part one, pressure part two, pressure part three. There's three parts to pressure. It's kind of like uh, old school rap, kind of like a Sugar Hill Gang era, uh, real basic stuff. He says the word pressure a lot in this song, over and over again. Uh, but I love the cover, had to get it. Bobby Bryant, everybody. Next up, another command on this cover. Uh, not stay the hell away from pressure, but another command. And it's uh, Jesus, use me. Now, Jesus, use me quite a command. But when I looked closer at this record upon finding it in a thrift store, I realized this guy's name is Little Richard Miller and he was born without arms and legs. And there he is sitting at a piano without arms and legs. So how could I pass this up? I couldn't. That's the answer. The answer is I couldn't, especially if you're looking at the back cover. And uh, I became a Little Richard Miller collector after I found this record. And by the way, when I found this record, I found three of them at the same store. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. But there we go. Jesus Use Me. Now going from Jesus Use Me to another three-word title, but completely different, Nuts to You. Going from Jesus Use Me to Nuts to You is pretty good. Now when I found this record, it didn't have all this writing all over it. This is Nuts to You by a band called Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts. And when I was in college, I found this record, uh, thrift store, flea market, something like that, really cheap. And I, I was intrigued by Nuts to You. And then when I started looking closer, I realized that guy's flipping the bird right there. That guy in Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts is flipping the bird. So I had to buy it. Then, soon after finding this record, I found out that Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts were playing a show. They were playing a show uh, Thursday, September 13th. I can't remember which, what year this was. Probably in the late 80s, mid 80s. Um, yeah, this was, uh, what was this place called? Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts. Oh, The Rendezvous, I guess it was called. Anyway, there they are. So then I went to saw them live. And I was able to get them to sign this, Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts. 
and I got a business card from them as well. And there they are. So yeah, I found them accidentally, became a fan of theirs, and their albums aren't too hard to find. It's kind of like, uh, you know, fraternity guy music, but, uh, you know, like uh, a little offensive and uh, some, uh, some, some humor in there. Uh, Doug Clark, nuts to you. Now, the last one that I bought based on the cover was this. Again, another flea market thrift store find back when I was in college. It just says spontaneous sounds on it. And it's got this guy with a couple of gongs and some kind of, looks like, wind instrument here. And uh, the back, there you see a larger version of that photo. It's totally weird to me. I didn't know what to expect. And what it is, actually, is uh, just a bunch of spontaneous sounds made with these gongs and cymbals, like very prolonged, sustained... <laughs> and then some wind instruments like just really hippy trippy uh experimental stuff um good for spa time in the bath basically so there's my five records that i bought based on cover art grown man records we love you we're gonna hook up with you guys soon face to face and we're going to do a little YouTube something, something together. Good luck with making your subs go up, 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 way beyond 600. And everybody else, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for the likes and the subscribes and all that stuff. May the rock and roll gods bless you as they blessed me. Talk to you later.